Hey, what's up, people? I'm back again. Dug on this side. Well, today we are going to make this scene. Actually, it's a scene done for my client, and uh, suddenly it got stopped due to some reason. So I thought, why not to make a different view by a little uh, my style view by taking a different approach and uh, making with the cloud and all. So I just did this scene, which was kind of an okay scene, not that great, but uh, it's not that bad. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial first. But uh, if you haven't liked my channel yet, make sure to subscribe it because here I will provide a post-production tutorial. So let's get started now. This is the raw render, uh, which is like uh, okay, but uh, it's too much saturated also and uh, like but this is what the client wants but i made a little different approach and this is what we are going to make so now i started off with the elements as uh, always the first one is reflection so i did a i put a reflection pass on it by just it's a normal reflection pass and it's this is a refraction and you have to put a you can also put a curve on it by just just to highlight the areas and uh, by just by using s curve it will like make your element good too so yes the curves the next one is lighting uh lighting no it's not lighting i guess but let me check first yeah it's a shadow as i know okay it's a shadow pass and uh, because the because the shadow is getting too much dark for me for now because i know in the end i will make it much more dark because i like contrast kind of a scene so i put it on screen with 64 percent of opacity and uh, i just uh, took a mask and then the curves curves is curves and for first one i just uh, make a curve outside the building just to just to give little haze and little cloudy kind of an environment because i know in the end uh, i have to put a clouds here so i just cut out the building and it's a normal black and white mask i just cut it from wire color and uh, by by normal by selecting the colors and deselecting the outer area whichever is coming in between the building by like this building so i just created the mask black and white mask put it on mask on curves and i just uh, higher up the point the last point of for the dark values just to give uh, a white environment uh, i guess you can't see that but it's normal curves and i just hold the little point up the rest is just normal curves by Again, by cutting from wire color and uh, just adjusting the color from color value colors uh, like RGB colors and RGB curves actually. So the next one is clouds, and it will give you an awesome result. It will drastically change the scene from this cloud. We are putting this this one drastic change in the overall scene by just putting the clouds i just google it and i just took a cloud image from the internet obviously and uh, i will show you in a minute like what what image i used in this just a normal images and mask it out the areas which i don't want and this is the image which i used a cloud image which is from from the angle from top of the cloud from top yeah it's a top of the cloud and just masking out the areas which I don't want and deleting it. So just as I don't want this area, so I deleted it and use the cloud. You can use it on screen uh, or multiply like not multiply actually. It's screen basically on screen. So you will get the good result from screen itself. So the next one is a little glare or flare kind of thing. Uh, just to actually it's a fake one. So I just put it. The next is little vignetting on the outer side of the building 
and the, the next one is it's a glass uh, color on a glass as as it's a little tent on a glass as it's a fake scene it's completely a, a i'm making a fake one and just correcting the glass on the rooftop the next one is a selective color uh, just changing the tone of the color as i want a little different tone in this shot is for my personal use and color balance obviously just for creating the mood and the little flare again this one is magic bullet looks and which will which drastically change the complete look of the scene and uh, yeah if you don't know the magic bullet looks how to use it uh, you can like comment below whatever if you have any question on it and i will love to answer it so and if you want me to make a tutorial on it you can also write on comment section so again the the next thing is hues uh, hue saturation on glasses just to make a little different tone from from the, because the sun is from bottom right and uh, this is a photo filter just to just a warm color on 14% of opacity just to give a sun sunlight effect as it's sun is coming and giving the light to this building the next is curves and i just place the curves to highlight little give the little highlights on the white areas just to show a little warm effect on the buildings and to make the shadow of this uh, shadow area a little blue and this one is gradient it's very less of very less use as uh, it's uh, already is of six percent opacity so obvious so it will give a less uh it will show you less so guys if you like this tutorial make sure to subscribe my channel and uh, give me thumbs up and please share as many as people you can and uh, i will see you next time so make sure to subscribe it so you can have a notification whenever i post a new tutorial so bye bye you can also check my facebook page it's gaganelavadi aquis